Hey there everybody, Fox Logic here. So I gotta fess up in the last video while I was taming the Quetzal. I did cheat a little bit. I got it I got it, I got it. I used the shocking tranquilizer dart. Because after using the regular darts, they weren't just they weren't getting it down fast enough. And I was competing with having to dangle myself in the air while trying to get it down and competing with its really quick torpor drain. So in order to make up for it, I'm going to show you how to use how to make those and how to use them. So tranquilizer darts are basically just used from or made from the regular darts, these ones. And the only difference is that they use the biotoxin, which you get from jellyfish. So all you really need to do is go out and farm jellyfish. Uh, they do expire. As you can see here, this one spoils in about three days. And when it spoils, it just turns back into a regular dart. So, we're gonna go get some. <laughs> that way I can make up for having used it in my last video. But I'm still happy to have my Quetzal. I still need more uh, pearls before I can make it subtle. So what I'm gonna do is I have already equipped my I'm just going to use Trank Arrows because I feel like it's nice to have that ability to knock stuff out. And I'm using my Journeyman Crossbow, which I got off of killing an Alpha Carno. I can fly over there, but I'm going to use the Rex. So, also I ended up cooking the rest of that mutton, so now I have cooked mutton, which is better to tame with than prime meat. Uh, kibble is always going to be the best thing. The second best thing from kibble for carnivores is mutton. And then the third best is cooked mutton. Unless you're talking about thylaco. For some reason thylacos really like cooked mutton. That's just part of their thing. Both of uh, the ovis and the thylaco were introduced at the same time. So they came out the same patch. They work together. So I'm going to use my handy dandy T-Rex here. And I'm going to kill this piranha because I don't really want that thing hanging out. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go down to the beach. Uh, jellyfish are found all over the ocean. And, uh, we're gonna try to kill them from the beach. So, if I kill Carnos and Raptors along the way, I'll get more arrows. So, yeah, this'll be my introduction to getting Trank darts. Being attacked by bugs. Which give keratin or chitin. So, whatever. Make sure I get all the bugs. They're hard to find. Oh, there's some. Excellent. Chitin. <laughs> so, there's that. So let's go to the beach. Which is a bit of a walk, but we'll get there. Okay, we are at the beach. Now, Rexes are not very good swimmers. But I am. So I can pretty much just kind of look along the uh, water and see if I spot any jellyfish. They'll be hanging out around here. Now Rexes can swim, and if you are going to swim with a Rex, make sure that you have stamina. Oh, I am holding up the um, 
space bar, because if I don't, then it'll start to sink very slowly. But if you keep paddling and you hold the space bar down, you'll stay above the you'll stay above the water and float. Alright, so I don't know if you see the lines out there. That's oil. So that's an oil node. See the bubbly rocks? Just like we saw over in the snow biome. Also, while I'm down here, a dolphin. <laughs> I'll see if I can get some uh, keratin and pearls. Maybe, maybe. Ah! There's jellyfish right there. Sometimes they pop above the water. It's that cyan or teal thing over there. I'll make sure I got full stamina. They're usually in packs, so if you see one, there are others. And they will immediately aggro to you if they see you. So you have to be very careful. The only thing that is... Uh, safe from jellyfish are the whales, the basilosaurs, everything else will be electrocuted, and if you're not careful you'll be knocked off your mount and you have the chance to lose your mount. Here we go. One jellyfish down. And with that jellyfish... Biotoxin! So you basically just merge this with your trank darts. They're called... we'll just type in dart. And they are at 96, which I'm almost there. I'm at 93. So, nothing that a couple meat runs can't fix. We'll go see if we can find another one. Oh hey, a lead! So, remember when I was on that boat, talking about super scary animals in the ocean? Alright, let's go across the water and hope that we don't get attacked by leads. The giant fish that eat boats. They're frightening. Yep, you'll know when you get attacked by a lead. It makes a horrific screaming yelling noise, and then suddenly your boat takes damage. That's exactly what that is. They are giant. And there's a basilo near them. That's an alpha lead, too, of all things. There we go. I win. Now everything's gonna come at me. Let's see. I got some alpha lead blubber, the captain's hat, which is awesome, and a whole lot of prime fish meat, and some levels. What level are you? Level 64. Not super happy about those manta rays. But there's a really nice way to get rid of them.
<laughs> and they're gone. Oh no, that Basilo died. That's too bad. Can I can I get it to meet? That's very frustrating. Well, I'm all for being ridiculous. And this is a prime example of being ridiculous. <laughs> I'll make sure to get all that fish meat. Can I hit it with my pickaxe? I can. And I get oil out of it. Never ending supply of oil. I'm gonna put it on the animal. Uh, oil, hide, raw. I'll drop these. I don't really need them. Well, that would have been a neat animal to have. Oh well. So I have my biotoxin. I should probably head home before my raw prime fish meat spoils. Or I could try to uh, cook it up now. Eh. What's this? Ah, the ammonites. Usually you find them at the bottom of the ocean and they skunk spray you with pheromones. All right, let's give you some more weight. More stamina, because I keep running out of stamina. And more weight. And for me, now that my movement speed is 181, I think I'm going to actually put a point into Fortitude. Let's keep finding jellyfish. We're looking for jellyfish. I don't see any currently. I might not be able to get back in time to cook up the prime fish meat. Well, I have about half an hour before it all spoils. I do remember there was some jellyfish around where I was first building. If you have meat on your inventory, the dolphins will annoy you. They won't attack you, they'll just get right in your face. That Pegomastix definitely learned a lesson. Any jellyfish? No. more levels. Oh, there's another Quetzal. What level are you? You are level four and a male. Not exactly what I'm looking for. If I had a flyer, I'd go up there and kill it to get more to spawn. Ah, there's a jellyfish. Excellent. And a raptor. I do need some more arrows. Looks like it didn't have any. How's that prime meat doing? 
I have 27 minutes. Alright, let's make sure that my stamina is all the way up. Ah, uh, let's go out and say hi. That jellyfish will notice me and start heading my way. Make sure you start hitting it before it gets to you. And now I've got more biotoxin. Any more jellyfish? Nope. I think I'm gonna go to the southeastern... Owie, what is that? That's all kinds of things following me. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I think I'm gonna go to the southeastern horn. I don't know what that was. And then I'll turn back around and head home. Hopefully in time to cook my prime fish meats. There's that Quetzal again. Ooh, trilobites. Let's go down towards the deep end. And then we'll come at them from this angle, so that way they go up along the beach. some pearls. I'm gonna drop some stuff. I don't really need this, or this, or these, or this. I'll keep the arrows. I'll try to hold on to that prime fish meat, but it might go bad. I do want that hat. Can I wear that hat now? Nope. Looks like a tech pariser and a raptor heading straight for me. Let's get that pariser. So killing tech animals gives you electronics, element dust, and oil, which I do need. I'll get rid of these. I'll keep the pelt. I don't really need narco berries right now. And I'll hold on to the scrap metal for now. Ah, there's some jellyfish. Now they're a bit far out. And I don't really want to lose my Rex. So what I'll do is I'll get in the water. And hopefully I can get them over towards where I'm at. Yeah, they're coming. Come on. Now I can just sit and hit them. Excellent. Now let's go home. So I've got quite a bit of biotoxin. My raw prime fish meat is looking a little low. Hopefully I can get home in time. So Triceratops is have an ability where if you're on an alpha animal or apex predator, they'll start to glow. So they'll get a buff against apex predators. I also see a couple wild derps going for a swim. Let's see what kind of level these derps have. Not super high. out of their way. I keep looking at Therizinos like a new pair of shoes that I want for special occasions. 
but won't be able to wear during work. I remember a base that was once here. It was very funny. They had speed dodos. <laughs> this is really nice lands for spinos, which usually spawn around the rivers. That's actually pretty high level. Well, not super high, but so far one of the highest levels I've seen. Not quite ready to go into the depths of the ocean. Ah! Packy! Neat! Packy does torpor damage. See a bear going through the woods. Oh no, that's just a poop pig. I'll get some XP. I don't think I'm gonna get home in time. Yep. I only have three minutes. Well, I'm gonna drop the prime. At least I have the captain's hat, the experience, fish meat, and the blubber, which is a, a reward or a uh, trophy. Let's all just keep going. Did I just step on... Yep. I stepped on a snail. Now I'm gonna eat some snakes. Ooh, microraptor. I always have time to eat a microraptor. Got quite a bit of chitin, too. Let's do some more stamina. I have ticked off the congregation of micro raptors and trudons, I guess. Oh, my base is right there. Hopefully, I can get around. I don't know if I can go through this. I might be able to. There we go. What a pretty waterfall I've built next to. Okay, I am home. And my whole purpose to going out was getting biotoxin. I will gra grab the rest of that stuff later. Looks like everybody's doing their job. Let's see, I am level 94. I need two more levels, so I'll put this biotoxin in the fridge. And hopefully in the next video, I'll show you how to make it. You pretty much just take the dart, the regular darts, put them in the fabricator, and craft using biotoxin. And that's it. That's all you gotta do to get the best darts. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.